For this video, we're going to look at something that um, several people have asked me. In fact, it's something I had to look into when I got my new uh, version of CorelDRAW. And uh, what it involves is an object that only is an outline being treated as its fill um, by the pick tool and as far as selecting it. So first I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to show you the real easy way to, to change it if you don't like the default. And the default in CorelDRAW is that um, objects that are not filled are treated as if they're filled when you go to select them. And um, so here I'm going to show you what I mean first. We know that we can use the pick tool to click on any object and select it or drag it where we want. Um, so this object here, as you can see, that our red circle is on top of this uh, blue square. Now, if I take that and we remove the fill from it, this object, we don't really know if it's on top or not, um, but it's treated as if it's on top because even though with nothing selected I can click on the circle, it treats it as it's filled and as it's on top. So if I want to get to that blue square, of course there's you know ways to do it, but the point is uh, you can switch this so that this object, even though it's not filled, um, is not treated as if it is filled. And there are certain cases where that's uh, a little handier to do, and I think I like it better that way. So the real way, easy way to do that is to go up here in the Tools menu, go to Options, and go down here, you're going to go down here under Workspace to Toolbox and then you're going to go down here to your Pick Tool right there. Once you highlight that there's an option in there called Treat All Objects as Filled and that will treat them as filled even if there's no fill property applied to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and check that box off and it is on by default when you install CorelDRAW and then we'll click OK. Now when we come back out here, again nothing is selected, when I click in the middle there I'm going to get the circle or I'm going to get the square and not the circle and if I want to click and select that circle I have to click on the outline of it um, because the fill part of it is not being treated as fill because there isn't any fill and um, so to get it you have to get the um, get the edge and getting stuff that's inside of it since it's not filled is much easier that way. And depending on the work you do, um, that may be how you want to work it, but that gives, shows you where the tool is to turn that on and off, and it makes it a lot easier to do certain work that way. And um, in previous versions of CorelDRAW, we used to have a button up here on our toolbar that allowed us to do it, and they've moved it um, into our um, customization options in here. And again, it's under Toolbox, and then pick tool and you can toggle that on and off. So hopefully everybody finds that useful. We'll see you in the next video.